Hi guys, I'm here with my first project for Diamond Eyes and I'm going to show you um, the project in the beginning. I have some photos and then after that I have step by step how I put it together including how I put together the flowers and then you'll see um, there will be some pictures on some of the steps that I did in the beginning and then you'll see a fast play at the end of me putting the top and some of the sides together. So I'm going to explain it first but before I get to the project um, I do want to encourage you to go check out Diamond Eyes. They have some amazing, amazing dyes at really wonderful prices. And if you use the code thanks Gisella, you'll get 10% off your order and free shipping on orders over $35, which is amazing because that is worldwide. So if you spend $35, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you'll get your dyes for free, which is phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> also, be sure that you're subscribed to the Diamond Eyes YouTube, which I'll link below, and make sure that you like their Facebook page. They're going to be giving away prizes throughout the 60 days of diamond dyes to people that like the Facebook page and if you comment on posts um, I know that there will be random giveaways for that and don't forget about the YouTube hop that's coming up on the 26th um, I will be participating as are many other designers and you can get information about that on the Facebook page as well and people who participate in the hop can win um, there will be a $50 gift card giveaway to Diamond Eyes, a couple of $10 gift card giveaways as well. So be sure that you stay tuned for that. Um, so let me show you some of the dyes I used. I used the flower dye, which I absolutely love. I used this leaf dye. I used this really pretty flourish dye. I used this heart dye, which is so pretty. Now what I found um, with these dyes, mm, I use the cuddle bug. I still have the cuddle bug and I use the these plates, the A, the B and the C. And what I've noticed is for some of the more intricate dyes like the heart and the flourish especially and the leaf, I have to also add a very very thin shim to go with it and this is just a piece of cardstock that's folded over. That's all it is. And I put that on top and that gets the, the little intricate pieces to cut really well. So that's just kind of a tip that I figured out when I use the dies. Um, the two C plates are a little too thick, um, and then the B and C is just a tad bit too thin. Okay. Um, but yes, I use these four dies on the project, and I absolutely love them. Um, and uh, if you go to diamonddies.com, you'll find them. And again, you can get 10% off and free shipping on orders over 35. So let me go ahead and show you the project, and this is a lace box actually and I don't have the inside filled yet um, but this um, the inside of the box has these chipboard pieces and these are just um, chipboard I cut out four by three and three fourths and then I cover them with paper from the Prima Songbird collection that's where the whole paper line is from and then I'm going to wrap lace around this um, around these different cards and it will be a, a lace box and then the inside is covered with paper from the collection as well. Now around the outside, I did use um, lace and some fringe. This is the ruffle trim. Um, and it, I just cut a little strip off to use and then I cut little pieces to make it a fringe, which I, I liked. I had it straight across in the video and then after I finished filming I decided to add the fringe to it. I also added this top layer that you don't see me add in the video. I'll show you in the video too. This is just gessoed, painted, and then I used lots of colors of mists to achieve the look. I was going to cover it with paper but then I decided not to and I used Art Anthology Salmon. I used some Glimmer Mists. I used, this is another uh, by Tattered Angels, but it's not Glimmer Mist, it's Plain Jane. And then these are the products I use. I just use Liquitex Gesso and then Folk Art um, Paint in Warm White. And then you'll see those when I do the step-by-step -step photos. So the front, you can kind of see I have um, lots of cutouts from the paper collection, the Songbird collection. And then I use the amazing dies to um, create some different little cutouts for the project that I just really, really liked. I actually cut out a bunch of flowers that I was going to use on the box, and then I realized it would just be 
much um, much more beautiful to use the dies to create flowers that match the paper collection exactly and that's what I did um, and again I have a little I, I guess a tutorial it just it's a fast play of me putting together these flowers just so you can see how I did it um, and they're really wonderful with a little bit of dimension and, and they, they just add something extra to the project that I really like and then I covered everything with diamond dust when I was finished so that is my box that I made. Um, again, stay tuned. You'll see some photos of the initial steps. You'll see how I put together the flowers and then you'll see a fast play of me putting together um, the most of the rest of the box. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And again, please visit diamonddies.com and check out all of the amazing dies that they have. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.